What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back! In today's video we are checking out one of the latest electric scooters from Kukirin. The one that we have here today is called the G2 Master and this scooter looks very similar to one of my all-time favorite scooters which is the G3 Pro that I have right here. This is actually the scooter that I personally use. So the G2 Master here is um, cheaper than the G3 Pro here and um, we still get dual motors. So we have a thousand watts of power on the back and a thousand watts of power on the front. So dual motor scooter. So yes, you have plenty of power for pretty much any situation. It doesn't matter what hill you are climbing. It doesn't matter where you are riding. You always have a lot of power if you're using both motors. Talking about both motors, you can also use just the back or both together. You cannot use just the front, so you can only use the back by itself. Aside from that, we also have a front and rear suspension. So whenever you are going over bumps or anything like that, the ride is still pretty comfortable. Okay, with that being said, let's start by doing a bit of an unboxing just so I can show you how the, the scooter comes packed in the box and what you have to do to get this ready and on the road. All right, so the scooter comes in a decent sized box. The box is also not crazy heavy. The scooter itself um, has a weight of about 33 kilos. So still a pretty heavy scooter, but compared to this one right here that weighs um, about 43 kilos, so it is much lighter in that sense. Now for installation, you do have to put the handlebar together and basically adjust the screen. So it's pretty easy to put this together out of the box. And in the box, it also comes packed really well. So it's not going to get damaged during transportation. All right. So next we have a super quick um, hill climbing test. We have a pretty steep hill um, out here. Most um, scooters cannot really make it up this um, hill, but I know that this one can. So I'm in uh, mode number two and I have the dual motors um, enabled. So I basically just accelerate and away I go. Taking a quick look at the scooter, well, yes, this looks very similar to the G3 Pro right here. Now, of course, it is a bit smaller. Everything is slightly smaller than the G3 Pro, and it's also a bit less powerful. But yes, it does look like a baby brother of the G3 Pro right here. And that's definitely not a bad thing because it is a very good looking scooter. The 10 inch wheels that we have on the front and of course on the back have a bit of an off-roady profile. So if there is some gravel, if there is some uneven terrain, you can still ride over that. Plus, that suspension also helps quite a bit. Now, the suspension is a bit firmer than the suspension that we have on the G3 Pro right here. So, I do feel that the G2 Master here is a bit more bouncy. Now, if you never rode this one, you're never going to know the difference. So, I only know the difference because I've been riding that one. So the suspension, even in the softest setting, because we have a suspension on the front and one on the back, and I did make it as soft as possible, it's still a bit on the bouncier side when compared to this one. But overall, still good whenever you are riding over uneven terrain. Since this is quite a powerful machine, of course, you're also going to need pretty good brakes because this can reach speeds up to 60 kilometers an hour, so pretty fast. So you definitely need good brakes. So we have mechanical disc brakes on the front and on the back. Also remember that this is uh, the budget-friendly version of the G3 Pro right here. So this one has hydraulic disc brakes, where this one has mechanical disc brakes. Now, the brakes on it are actually the best mechanical brakes that I got to try on any electric scooter up until now so really good braking power from the front and the rear brakes now i've also noticed that the brake on the front is on one side and the brake on the back is on the other side so with most other scooters that i've tried actually with all other scooters that i've tried the brakes are on the same side all the time well with this one we get one brake on one side and the other brake on the other side and I'm not sure if that has um, to do with the stability when you're braking because the scooter is very stable when you are braking. Maybe a bit more stable than the G3 Pro right here. So I'm not sure if that has to do with the fact that we have one brake on one side and the other brake on the other side. But the brakes do work really, really good on it. Inside the G2 Master, we also have a fairly large battery pack. The battery pack is located at the bottom here. So you're basically standing on top of the battery pack. All this is covered by rubber. So whenever you have your feet here, you're not going to slip if it's wet out or anything like that. 
The base here is fairly wide compared to most other scooters out there, but of course it's not going to be as wide as uh, what we get on the G3 Pro right here, but still very comfortable to ride. Now on one charge, the manufacturer says that you're going to be able to get about 70 kilometers. Now that will depend a lot where you're riding, how you're riding, how heavy you are and so on. I think it would be on the safe side to say that you're going to get about half of that in any riding condition. So give it about 35 kilometers of range on one charge. Now charging this also takes quite, um, quite a while. So you basically have to charge it overnight because it will, tell, it will take you about 10 to 11 hours to charge with the charger that comes in the box. The charging port is located right here and the battery pack inside the scooter is not um, removable. For lights, we do have plenty of lights. So first of all, we have the headlight right here. This is quite bright. You can still see this during the day. We have the rear light that also acts as a brake light whenever you're pressing the brake levers here. In the front headlight there, we also have the horn, very loud um, horn. We have two more side lights um, right here. So on the front, those can also be used as signals. We have two more um, side lights on the back. And in the center here, we have um, the manufacturer's name uh, that also lights up. So whenever you're riding this at night, it is extremely bright. In case you didn't notice by now, this is also a folding scooter. So the handlebar here folds. We have the folding mechanism right here. So you basically have to tighten this up really well. Then you would pull on this and then the scooter folds like that. So we do have a hook right here that would um, catch on the back there and then you can kind of carry the scooter. But remember, this is a fairly heavy scooter at um, 33 kilos. So maybe you don't want to... You don't want to carry this around. Um, also, when uh, you unfold it, make sure that you tighten this really well so there is no movement in the handlebar. So the folding mechanism does work quite well and it is very similar to the folding mechanism that we have on the G3 Pro there. The G2 Master here also has a feature that we don't actually get on the G3 Pro and I wish that feature would have been available on this one as well. So you can actually lift up or lower the handlebar. So we have uh, that right here. So you can make this lower or higher. So of course that's going to be great. So the scooter can be used by a variety of um, users. So if you are taller, if you are shorter, you can still ride the, the scooter. Now one thing that the G3 Pro here has and this one doesn't have is an ignition lock. So with this one, you basically just have the power button so anyone can just turn on the scooter and just go with it. With this one, at least you do have a key. So if you don't have the key, you cannot power this one. So I kind of wish that feature would have been included with the G2 Master because, well, it's very easy to steal the scooter, basically. The handlebar is also fairly wide, so whenever you're riding, you feel quite comfortable, so you're not crammed in any ways. The grips here are made out of rubber. They don't seem to move um, at all. The brake levers are made out of um, plastic. It would have been nice to see some metal um, on this because the scooter does feel a bit cheaper with the plastic uh, levers here. Then we have some buttons here. You basically control the lights from these buttons here. On the right-hand side, we have the power button. We have the accelerator and uh, the button so you can switch in between the dual motor mode and the single motor. As I said, you can use just the rear wheel or you can use the front and the rear. So it really depends how you're riding. Basically, if you're riding on a flat road, the rear motor does perfect. You don't really need any more power than that. But whenever you reach um, hills or something like that, um, you'd put it in dual uh, motor mode and then you have a lot more um, power. Of course, if you're using it in dual motor mode, you're also going to use more um, power, but it is a lot more fun to ride um, when you're using this um, with the dual motors. As for the screen that we have in the center here, well, this is basically the same screen that we have on the G3 Pro right here. And, well, this is not the most amazing screen out there, mostly because um, if you're riding on a sunny day like today, you can barely see that um, screen, so it doesn't get um, that bright. Either than that, it does offer um, a lot of um, information, but if you can't really see that information because it's too bright out, it's not a great um, thing. So, just like I said in the video for the G3 Pro, the screen could have been better. All right, so let me quickly show you how the cooker in G2 Master works. So basically to power this on, we powered it off, um, you'd 
press the power button right here so about three seconds and then the screen comes on here we have the button to switch uh, between single motor and dual motor and here we have um, the lights we'll just turn the lights um, on so to ride this is super simple you basically accelerate and the scooter will uh, go so that um, simple i will switch to the dual motor mode so now we have both motors and now you definitely feel more power because you feel that um, front uh, motor pulling you as well if you press the power button once uh, you switch uh, in the between modes so i believe this one will get you to about 40 kilometers an hour and mode 3 will get you to about 60 kilometers an hour so you definitely have a lot of power when uh, you accelerate we'll turn around here mostly because of those dogs so a lot of power look at this acceleration so pretty much at any speed you can accelerate we'll do a brake test i don't want to lock those wheels but the brakes do work really well and there is so much power that that front wheel spins when you accelerate so listen to that you definitely hear that front uh, wheel spinning so this easy to ride uh, this scooter so yeah this is how the Kukirin G2 Master uh, works all right so to quickly conclude this video taking in consideration the price of this scooter because it is priced quite well when compared to something like the g3 pro here of course this is a more advanced um, scooter more powerful as well but for the price this um, this one does offer a lot of value i mean i don't think you can find anything else that offers as much power as this uh, braking power as good as this for the same price so this scooter is priced really well um, as well so we do have to take that into consideration of course so you do get plenty of power you get um, front and rear suspension which definitely helps on your um, going over bumps you get great brakes we get um, great battery life the charging time is a bit on the downside because it takes so long to charge but overall this scooter does offer really good um, value as always there will be a link in the video's description so you can check this out thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one